Infinity Q50's revisions are a little difficult to notice. Walking toward my Q50 Red Sport 400 test car sitting in downtown Nashville, it doesn't look too different from the 2017 model. However, Infinity says the double arch grille, larger air dams, more pronounced front lip and LED accent light design are new on the Sport model specific fascia. Out back, slimmer LED lamps and a two-tone lower diffuser give this most performance-focused model in the Q50 lineup a more aggressive look. Sliding into the driver's seat feels familiar, as Infinity left the main layout of the dash unchanged. Look close enough and some may be able to pick out subtle changes, such as the new thick rim steering wheel, shift knob and additional accent stitching on top of the dash. As I get rolling on the drive route, I toggle through the carryover Infinity and Touch infotainment system, featuring an 8-inch screen at the top of the center console and a responsive 7-inch touchscreen below. In no time I have the navigation map up and my favorite satellite radio station playing on the fantastic 16-speaker Bose sound system. Like before, the Q50's infotainment system doesn't support Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but an Infinity spokesman says both are coming down the road. Got my car is equipped with Infinity's direct adaptive steering system, which lacked feel and feedback when it first arrived on the scene. Now, in its second generation and benefiting from continuous refinement, the steer-by-wire system no longer 